Gongo had the bounty killer Carla, Commissioner a idiot. Well, we'll see that and more after the intro. Stay tuned. I just heard it again, goddamn. So no matter come here, we don't have any fear. We don't have any fear. This is Jamaica land we love. But in the blink of an eye, someone may die. This is our country, and we have to take a stand. We are our brother's keeper. We make the country we live in. So we have to stand up and make crime mash it up. Standing for women and children. Take a stand for each other. Take a stand for the culture. A few country. We can't make crime mash it up. A message from Crime Stop and the JCF. Stand for something. What the guan, what guan to all of my nice and decent people all there, to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. Now, thank you very much for tuning in today. Well, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Bounty Killer. Now, Bounty Killer went ahead and went off on a tirade. Now, that was the ad that I was talking about what caused Bounty Killer to call the commissioner a big idiot. He, well, he made a statement, a bold statement where he said, is we either going to be, we're going to cherish each other or we're going to perish with one another. You know, you know, making a statement that, you know, which side he's on. And the reason why is because although you see him in the ad here, he was taken out of the ad when it was played officially. So because of that, the um, the grown God of Five Star General went to all media platform that he could to hit for anyone to go ahead and hear what he has to say on why he was being pulled. Well, the commissioner had to say that the reason why he went ahead and pulled the five-star general bone to kill her was because he did not fit. No, and basically because of some of the stuff that he has been doing, some of his music, so on and so forth, we don't know. But, hey, but that's not it. Later on, uh, Bone to Killer went to go on a big tirade again, talking about the strike that happened for the at the airport for Norman Manley Airport, where there was just a strike for the um, the workers for the um, for the Water Commission. Now, hear what the Gun God had to say. General Star, not even the worker in class getting paid in Jamaica. Yo, few days ago, water commission, no air traffic, peer the people, bomber club people, them slave driver with four cursing emojis. Now, this is what I have to say about this. The whole situation is always going up with every government, every, every state, Every government of a country have a time where they are not paying the people them that they should be paying and the amount of money that they should be giving them and the thanks that they should be receiving, the reward that they should be receiving. Now, that's not just in Jamaica, that's not just in Barbados, Antigua, Trinidad, you know, America, Canada, uh, England, it doesn't matter where you go, is the situation. Now, Tupac made a wonderful speech one time in, in, in a, he made a wonderful statement, I mean, where he says, you know, we have money for wars, but we have, we don't have money to feed the poor. Now, this is what Bonticula is saying. This is what many people are saying all over the world, especially in Jamaica right now, because, you know, just consider that we had water commission workers stopped 
and were on strike for a while and then they got on strike and damn near the next day you have the air traffic control go on strike after that uh, what that what is going to be the police you know everybody's going to be on 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 high alert because they're supposed to get the money they're supposed to get the teacher them supposed to get peer peer the teacher them peer the peer the bumper car people them hey I agree. Pim pim pim! Screaming it in with that next blows on Sky. You know, the man full of lyrics, you know. But the only thing I would always have to critique with, and I'm not the only one who said this, is, you know, the man, have, the man full of talent, man. That's why, you know, you know, the man live up to your name where he then says, he can call himself Skilly Bang. Mr. Universe, I lick them with more than just style pattern lyrics emotional rooms can okay, take you from room to room to room to room you know to section to section each character give you a new aspect on what a DJ should be in this day and age because we can't talk about the DJ then we start off in that 2000 we can't talk about the DJ them no more we start off in 90 we can't talk about the DJ then we start off in 80 we have to talk about the DJ then we start off in the 2000 and teens right and he's one of those D he's one of those DJs he's one of those artists artists will come out and the thing we him do he capitalize on particular subjects and uh, the team may have body of fuck me can't me have to give them all the props man just you know you have a good team around him man and but the fact still remains gun tune gun tune gun tune gun tune gun tune is this something that will bring dancer to the next level but me not gonna lie do because most of the songs them we come out with we forward with man yeah the tune them wicked man and they well put together and he's very unorthodox with the style we use so yo for that me have to give him props because you know a lot of artists are here right now they don't do that and he kind of works with you know sound effects and he give you a little, little bit of the glitz and the glamour and all them things that in the tune them way where my push so and that and that he creates so yo may I forgive him props for that just comment down below tell me what you think about you know the stories that I hit you in your head with today bone to kill a skilly bang right you strike on uh, until next time, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye. Don't forget to hit the post notification and hit that subscribe button.